This is going to be the no-nonsense RB refrigerator troubleshooting video. I was surprised how many people have videos up on YouTube that are just completely useless. Very simple, very easy to do. If your refrigerator is on and it is cooling somewhat, you might and probably just have a thermistor problem. You're going to want to um, access the leads going to the thermistor. Um, they might be at a harness in the refrigerator or outside at the control board. You're just going to ohm out the thermistor and see what kind of ohms you're getting. I'll put a link to a good table for Norcold and some other refrigerators down in the video description below. But a lot of the times, um, if you're getting like frost buildup on your fins here, like it's icing over, that's a bad thermistor. It does have an auto defrost feature and it does automatically warm those up so that the, the frost melts off and goes down into the tray. Um, if it's building up too much ice, you either have a door seal problem or you have a thermistor problem. Very simple. These are very cheap. I got this one on Amazon for 20 bucks. Um, I'll put a link to this down in the video description below. Free two day prime shipping. That is super easy. All right, I've got the new thermistor here and the old one, and we're gonna show you how to measure the ohms to show you the difference between a good one and a bad one. Uh, most Norcolds read good around the eight to 9,000 uh, ohm reading. Um, this bad one here is way less than that and even cuts out some of the time. So I've got the multimeter probe stuck into the harness here so that they're touching the pins on the thermistor, and we're getting 7,830 ohms, okay? And that has varied depending on how warm or cold this thing is. Um, it's a variable resistance uh, thermistor, so depending on how hot this thing is, that uh, reading will go up or down. And you can tell even the heat of my hand is causing it to change rapidly. Okay, so now let's check the old one and show you how bad it was. It was actually cutting out completely I was getting all kinds of frost spilled up in my refrigerator. Here we're only getting 4 ohms, or 4,000 ohms, and that is bad. And especially if it's cutting out all the time, it's definitely bad. So all we're going to do is uh, take our existing metal clip. It wouldn't be bad, uh, a bad idea to scrape the rust off there and coat it with some sort of anti-rust uh, material. But you can just as easily just clip it on, clip it back in, plug this back in, and you're good to go. Very easy to change a thermistor and test for one. Um, you do want to invest in some sort of thermometer. Um, as you can see here, I've had the door open for a while, um, but you want it to be sticking around like just above 32 degrees up to like 37 degrees for your refrigerator and down well below 32 on the freezer. If you're uh, burying by a lot and it's getting too hot and too cold, it's probably your thermistor. All right, now as far as other problems, if it's not working in AC mode if, or if it's not working in LP mode, we're gonna troubleshoot that outside here. Just go to the back of your refrigerator here. And uh, RVs work in a different way than standard refrigerators. Standard refrigerators use uh, um, the expansion and contraction of gas going through an orifice tube to cool the stuff. Um, in an RV, it heats up ammonia. And so all you have to do to see if it's working, touch any of these pipes back here. They should all be warm. If you're in AC mode and you're having uh, problems with it heating an AC or cooling an AC mode, here is your uh, AC heating coil. That's the coil that actually heats up all this stuff. But if your pipes here are warm, um, you know your AC is working. You can touch that, it's gonna be hot. If it's not hot, then your AC is not working. And you wanna trace the wires back to the control board. Make sure you're getting voltage there. Make sure you're getting voltage there. Very simple, you might have a bad control board or bad wiring. Usually it's not bad wiring, okay? If you're having trouble in LP mode, switch it to LP mode, come over here and open up your little uh, window there. Make sure you see a flame. If you don't see a flame, you just pull this off and clean the little uh, flue. Very easy, very simple. Um, if that doesn't fix it, come back here to your solenoid. You might have a solenoid problem. If that doesn't fix it, come back here to your uh, your control board. Make sure you're getting, getting voltage to the solenoid. It's a, a simple system, very easy to troubleshoot and very easy to fix. Um, you know, the AC problems can be fixed either either wiring or control board. The gas problems can be fixed via either cleaning the flue, 
uh, checking the solenoids. Sometimes the solenoids get clogged up with uh, stuff from the gas line. I've had that happen before. Uh, you can actually take those apart and clean them. Or it might just be a control board issue as well and it's not getting 12 volts to turn the solenoid on. Very simple, very easy. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button on the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel.